What's going on guys, it's Alex, and in today's video, I want to show you how to uh, build out and how to structure your uh, Google Ads campaigns for uh, appliance repair, your appliance repair marketing business. If you need help setting up your campaigns, if you're having trouble with your campaign, if you're paying too much for calls, uh, click the link down below for a free consultation call. Uh, we can kind of figure out what's going on with your Google Ads campaign for your own appliance repair business. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. So the problem a lot of businesses face, a lot of appliance repair businesses face, and I'll show you uh, with Google Ads here. Uh, there are a few problems. So I have a video about how to set up your landing pages, but for a lot of businesses, the problems with Google Ads uh, and what how they're missing the mark uh, is with setup and targeting. And assuming you already have uh, let me just move my face over here. Assuming you already have your Google Ads um, set up, uh, I just want to show you how to set up the campaign. But let's look at a few examples first, right? If you're an appliance business and you're trying to sell, uh, get appliance calls in Pittsburgh, first of all, uh, your ad should be formatted to what people are looking for, which is going to be appliance repair or, in a lot of instances, specific appliance repairs uh, in specific locations. So fridge repair, uh, washer repair, um, dryer repair, stove repair, stuff like that. Looking through the ads, and I've already gone through these for a few videos, um, these are all bad, right? Uh, and I'll show you why in just a sec. But looking at these ads, none of these mention Pittsburgh. Um, some of them don't even mention, these two don't even mention appliance repair. Um, this just only says appliance in the description. Uh, and this one doesn't even mention appliance repair as well. So all these people are just wasting money on ad spend. Uh, these are going to be the same clients that are saying, you know, it's costing us $150 uh, to get an actual lead or your, your cost per click is just insanely high. It's not profitable to run ads. Ads are profitable and they can be insanely profitable if they're set up right. And let me just show you how to set it up. So again, this is what your back end of Google Ads should look like. Uh, if you haven't installed uh, or not installed, if you haven't set up your Google Ads account yet, you're gonna to need to go ahead and do that. The, and yeah, so how Google Ads works is your main focus needs to be targeting, getting the targeting right for your Google Ads account. Now, if you're running a Google Ads campaign in Pittsburgh, right, in central Pittsburgh, if you're located in the center of Pittsburgh, then you will want a Google Ads campaign. If you're not located in Pittsburgh or if you're located in uh, one of the suburbs of Pittsburgh uh, or if your service area is somewhere outside of Pittsburgh, you will want ads for those uh, locations. Uh, so just as an example, we have two campaigns here. Right? We've got Pittsburgh overall and we have Pittsburgh uh, Bethel Park, which is a neighborhood uh, in uh, well, a suburb of Pittsburgh. And I'll show you the differences of each of these campaigns in a second. So somebody in Pittsburgh, right? While appliance repair is going to be the biggest search, it's probably not something you want to target uh, that specific keyword to start, especially on new campaigns. And especially if you're a small to medium sized uh, repair business that is looking to just generate leads from uh, your Google ads. And if you if we click through to this campaign, we'll see that within the campaign itself. And this is targeting Pittsburgh as a whole, which is fine to start. Um, you'll get a lot of data from that and it's what you want to do. Uh, but you can see within this campaign, we have different ad groups, right? We have a fridge repair ad group. We have a dry repair ad group. We have a washing machine uh, repair ad group. Now, you're going to want to do keyword research to determine um, which ad groups, which actual repairs uh, are getting searched for every month. And to do that, you can do it manually by just searching Google to see if people are targeting that keyword. For huge cities like Pittsburgh, there is going to be a lot of volume. Uh, for these searches, as you can see here, people are searching um, appliance repair every month, which is fine. And you can just kind of drill down into fridge repair, right? And then you can see there is still uh, enough volume here and things for, and, and again, 10 is enough volume. And then you can look at dryer repair, boom, 90 volume. A lot of people are repairing dryers. Cost per click is $3.31. And yeah, this, this is what's going to indicate to you through keyword research, how to set up your actual ad groups. This means that when somebody in Pittsburgh uh, is searching for fridge repair, you're going to, your ad is going to show up, which is going to be targeted to fridge repair, and you're going to have a fridge repair landing page, right? So you're not going to want to have, for example, we can, I can show you right here. If we just did fridge repair in Pittsburgh, most of these are not going to be targeted at all, right? These two don't, uh, this one does recommend 
refrigerators, which is actually not terrible. This one bear, this one doesn't recommend fridges at all uh, in the title. And this one does also mention fridge repair, but the formatting is quite weird. Let's see if I, if any of these uh, lead to the actual fridge page. It does look like this one does. Yeah, it looks like these guys just do fridge repair. This is not a terrible landing page. It's one of the better ones I've seen. This one's terrible. Your landing page should not look like this, and this one doesn't work. Uh, so that's a wasted ad click for them. Basically, you want to have a landing page that's targeting fridge repair in, uh, in Pittsburgh, and that's where you want to be sending traffic to. So it's fully targeted for that search. Uh, same with dryer, same with washing machine, same with whatever service you want to build in bigger cities like Pittsburgh, Phoenix, um, Chicago, any city over 500,000 people, drill down the services that you're offering, build out different ad groups so that you can have different content, different headlines, different creatives for that so that your ads are hyper targeted to what people are looking for. Your conversion rate will be higher. You'll spend less to get calls. And assuming the landing page is designed to convert, uh, it'll convert at an insane amount if you're sending traffic uh, to the pages of pe for people that are having pain points with these specific uh, appliances. Now this is going to differ, and like I said earlier, if you look at Pittsburgh, all these neighborhoods, and let's assume I don't know, let's assume you have a hundred mile, say sixty mile radius, all of these locations, right, are going to be looking for the broader search of appliance repair. And for example, let's say I have Bethel Park already set up, which is just kind of a suburb of uh, of, of Pittsburgh, but Blairsville, for example, Blairsville is likely a very small town, uh, and it is relatively a suburb of Pittsburgh. You do not want to start in, in these suburbs with a campaign that is fridge repair in Blairsville. So it works the opposite way. And I'll show you what I mean. If you go into your Google Ads, um, and if we go to the campaigns, I'm just going to clear this one. We set up a Pittsburgh Bethel Park uh, uh, um, campaign, and I'll show you why. If you search dryer repair in Bethel Park, Nothing comes up based on our keyword tools, right? And if you search fridge repair, uh, Bethel Park, based on the keyword tools we're using, nothing comes up. Now, if you're using Google Search Console, you'll be able to see where you're getting traffic from if you have a landing page for all these neighborhoods. Uh, but with very small, with smaller suburbs and smaller locations, you want to start, you only want to have, you want to start with one ad group, and that's going to be the broad appliance repair ad group. Now, within this ad group or in this ad, the way the ad is going to be set up for this, uh, for your appliance repair, you're going to want to mention things like your fridge, like oven, like uh, dryer. F, if you want, if you have, if you can base this data on Google Search Console that you are already seeing impressions and interest for these services. If not, you go super broad, right? For example, in the case of this ad, uh, I'm not sure what happened there, uh, but in the case of this ad, if we look at how the ad is structured, right, in need of appliance repair, we're, we're already targeting their pain points. We're already targeting the location, Bethel Park, right? This is a really great uh, title, uh, and even in the in description, appliance repair, Bethel Park, it mentions Bethel Park. Uh, we have the calls, uh, we have the site link set up. I mean, this, if I have to say so myself, this is a fantastic looking ad, um, and this one should show problem with your appliances. Yeah, as long as you have Bethel Park showing up in the title or the description, as long as we have the site links here. Until you get data from Google based on the keywords that you're showing up for, you will uh, you will start to see uh, on, on the keywords that Google Ads is showing you if you're getting traffic for fridge repair Bethel Park, if you're getting traffic for oven repair or dryer repair. From then, once you can verify that you do have traffic uh, for those specific services in those neighborhoods, that's when you can drill down and then make that uh, landing page and just make that campaign or that ad group to target that specific uh, service, right? So if you're not getting any dryer repair searches for Bethel Park, don't create an ad group, uh, don't build a campaign out for that, don't target that keyword until you can verify whether you're using Google Search Console or Google Ads that you are getting traffic for that uh, and that there is interest in targeting uh, that specific service in this specific neighborhood. And the same would go for SEO. So for Pittsburgh, right, you would create the fridge repair, oven repair, dryer repair, every service for Pittsburgh. 
you can just start with the broad, uh, for example, Bethel Park appliance repair, mention the services, and if you see on Search Console, okay, we're getting a lot of impressions for fridge repair Bethel Park, then you build out that location plus service page for Bethel Park. But yeah, uh, as for Google Ads, this is really how you wanna be structuring uh, the campaigns. Whether you're just starting out or you're building out a new campaign uh, or you're just trying to improve things um, how they are currently set up, uh, this is exactly how you would want to set it up. Make sure the titles are make sense so that when you are looking at data, you can kind of break things down and segment all the data. But otherwise, this is how you want to move forward, setting up uh, your campaigns for Google Ads. Right. So for larger cities, go granular and for smaller areas, go wide to start and then just drill down uh, and fine tune the campaign from there. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. You can click the link down below uh, if you want to grab a free consultation call uh, to look at your campaign, see how everything's performing. Uh, we're happy to make any recommendations. And if we can, we're also happy to help you move forward with your own campaigns. Uh, as always, you guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.